Yo, what's going on, boys? So, I've been putting this off for a while, but I just thought I'd finally push to Ultimate Champion. So, I'm currently three games away and in the first match here. So, we'll see what deck he's running. Main reason I was really putting this off is because I had I was pretty sick. So, I decided to just wait till I felt better to push actual ladder. And he just goes for a knight the back. Level 14, which obviously gives me an advantage. And you you guys already know how I feel about level 15. Um, make sure to like the video. And I will obviously be dropping the... I mean, yeah, like the intro video. And I'll be dropping the full Clash diss track that y'all want so bad. And, okay. Just gonna go for a Tesla here. And this should be a pretty solid defense. Um... Yeah, I'm just going to go poison on this and take the hit. Uh, I think taking the hit is fine because it's opposite lane. I mean, it's not the greatest play, but I don't really want to commit three more elixir on that when I don't really need to. Uh, I'm just going to go minor skellies. Pretty good way at applying pressure for not much elixir. And forces out the barbs. I, I think that was a pretty bad play by him. He could have done, like, just a zap or something. Maybe he has air with fireball. Oh, uh, okay. So, I don't think I need to do anything for those barbs. And, you know what? I'm going to predict a lava hound. Come on. No. Okay, that's not good. Yikes. Okay, I'm going to go minor here. Because I want to bait out his arrows. I want to bait out his arrows. He's going to go arrows, right? Arrows or zap? Oh, my God. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Bro, this man just missed arrows. What was he aiming for? Oh, my God. Also, yeah, once again, just shout out the members of the channel. Scott Randall, thank you so much, bro. And I'm going to win this game for you. Oh, uh, okay. So, I'm actually going to... Yeah, I'm going to do this because I know he just doesn't wasted both of his spells. So, he's going to have to go, like, Evo Barbs, I'm pretty sure. Or that, yeah. kind of knew he was going to do that. So, I'm just going to do this. He can kill my queen, but I don't know if he wants to commit all that. And, oh, that was huge. Wait. Oh, my God. That was huge. The e the evil knight got pulled backwards. So, so it didn't tank for the balloon. That was actually so clutch for me. And, holy crap, the left side. How did we just take half his tower? Wow, we're out playing this guy crazy right now. <laughs> I'm actually playing so well right now. Oh, uh, Okay. Uh, okay, I need to cycle a queen, and then just go for a uh, log here. I think I need to go delivery just to be safe, and yeah, okay. Obviously, he's going to do that. I'm just going to poison, go skellies like this to maybe keep my queen alive, make him fireball arrows. Uh, oh, no, I didn't mean to log. Okay, kind of a waste of two elixir. I meant to go delivery. I mean, it's not the worst. He did go fireball arrow, so I'm going to just do this to apply pressure because it's going to force out a positive elixir trade. Like, yeah, skelly drags, that's perfect. And that's all I needed from him. And I'm just going to go, like, yeah, I knew he was going to... Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I thought I meant to, the skelly drag to lock on because now it's just a fireball range queen. Um, It's still fine. I'm fine with him fireballing. Uh, He doesn't fireball, actually. Really interesting barbs. I don't know what he thought was going to happen there. But still going to force him to fireball. And he has to defend my knight. He doesn't defend it. Okay. That was really interesting by him. I'm going to go uh, delivery poison. Should kill literally. Oh, that was such a good delivery poison. And if anyone wonders why I play this deck, that clip right there should show you why. <laughs> delivery poison is just my favorite combo in the game. And that's just a fat poison. Wow, man. And, yeah, I should just be able to just keep just cycling oh wait we're actually not in the greatest spot i need to try and take his tower come on poison oh he didn't catch the minor let's go really nice win and now we're two games off ultimate champion i'll see you all in the next match all right we're in the next match currently two wins off and i actually completely forgot about this in the games before but evil wallbreakers came out today and i'm not gonna spend the money on them um i know it, it'll be good content but uh, $10, you know, I could buy, like, ice cream with that, you know, I could buy, I don't know, I could buy a, a good dinner from McDonald's, uh, but, yeah, I, I think Evil Wallbreakers, 
Um, I haven't seen much of them on ladder, probably because not everyone just gets to spend that money, but they seem like they're pretty good because you have to use a building against them. And I feel like this deck counters them pretty well since you have delivery for the normal ones and then a building for the evil ones. And this guy, you know, in E-Giant player fashion, literally goes all in first play. Uh, with literally all his elixir and everything for for uh, 500 damage. Wow. I literally, I don't understand how these people can play like this. He literally just like spends 20, 20 elixir the bridge. Just goes all in, pops everything, and just, I don't even know, man. Oh, it's just the meta, bro. I just don't understand why they're not nerfing cards like Bowler and Little Prince. Like... Like this card, I literally see it in every single game. And I'm not I'm not kidding with you guys on that. Literally every single game I go against Bowler. And I'm going Queen here because I feel like it'll Yeah, that's perfect. Okay. So the reason I went Queen there, I felt like it was either gonna bait out an E Giant or a Lightning, which is really good for me because now he can't get any offensive value. And I, I can just get a free defense. And also okay, what a bad ability. That was a terrible Ability. Wait, oh my god, he's dead. What was that tornado? No, double elixir, please don't bail him out. Double elixir, you better not bail him out. Okay, okay, that's pretty good damage. Double elixir definitely bailed him out. He would have lost his entire tower, but that's fine. Like, look at this guy, bro. This absolute clown just went bowler the bridge to protect two archers. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. Don't, don't hate the player, hate the game. That's that's one thing I've learned. Like you can't hate on the person for playing the broken deck. You gotta hate on Supercell for allowing that deck to be that broken for so long. Anyway, uh, yeah. Let me know what y'all y'all thoughts on Evo Wallbreakers are, because I don't. I actually have don't even know if. Oh what? Okay wait. That was a bad lightning. Now I. Oh my god. Okay, good thing I didn't play it high, or I would have just lost the entire game, I'm pretty sure. But I think we're fine. Uh, okay, just go Knight here. Like, they pop the ability no matter what. It's kind of crazy, but... Yeah, we're chilling. And basically, all I have to do now is defend. So, and also just apply pressure on offense. Okay, he, pre he protects his bowler. They just need to nerf bowler and little prince. That's all they need to nerf, but they just decide to not have balance changes. For like the 20th time. Also, look at this. Evo Skellies do so good against E-Giant. And he lightnings that? What was that lightning? Wait, he saw the Evo Skellies and still lightninged it. That was so stupid. Okay. Log. Perfect log. And the miner is just chipping away. And we're up 1,500 damage. So this guy really didn't play well. He's probably tilted. You know, people in World Champion are usually really tilted. And watch this. I, I know this guy. I know how predictable he is. He's going to go, yep, yeah. <laughs> and then he's going to predict the lightning. Watch this. Watch this. He's going to predict the lightning. Oh, he doesn't. Okay. Wait. Wait, this is actually bad then. Um, I kind of messed up. Uh-oh. Uh, uh-oh. Boys, never get too cocky. Okay, I still think we're fine because we had such a big damage lead. But if I didn't have that much of a damage lead, I could have actually lost the game there. Oh, wait. Okay, this is going to be a little bit close. Um, but, you know, close for Conte, as B-Rad always says. It's just close for Conte, you know. Okay, Skellies, or Tesla. And then, just do this. Should be fine. Oh, no. Oh, no, boys. Oh, uh, this is not good. Okay, got to go Tesla. Really bad LP. Don't really know what he was thinking with that one. But, you know... He just lightnings nothing, so I think I'll, I I think I win the game because he's not gonna get back to another lightning, and yeah, he can't defend that. So really nice win, really clean win against E Giant, and he didn't really play that well. I kind of almost choked at the end, but yeah, we played really well in that game except for the ending, and yeah, really nice win. And I'll see you all in the next match. One win away from Ultimate Champion. All right, we're in the final match here. We just need to win this game, and we'll be an Ultimate Champion facing. Uh, Yelts on YouTube. So he probably has a YouTube channel. And we'll just see what deck he's running. Cycles Log Ice Spirit. So it could be any cycle deck. Okay, just goes for a night. Still could be like any anything. 
hog most likely yep there's the hog and this is a good matchup but it's really easy to choke so you need to play really safe i think but know when to go in because you need to get damaged but you also need to play safe and you need to activate king tower that's a major thing in this matchup this guy has pretty bad micros he kind of messed up right there um i'm gonna log this because i feel like my queen will get some extra damage if i do and I can just activate my king off this firecracker. Like I said, king tower is really important in this matchup. Bro, how did that... Okay. I'm not... You know, it's best not to complain, but... Oh, that's so toxic. Gotta hit on one HP. Okay, is he gonna go hog? I'm guessing he is, so I'm gonna just pre-cycle it. He's probably gonna go, like, cannon in the middle to snipe that, right? I don't know. I'm just gonna go minor. Maybe I can kill this. He's probably not even gonna let me. Oh, oh, he messes it up. Okay, that's huge. As long as that firecracker's dead, I'm happy. And yeah. Okay. Just gonna make sure I'm back to my second Tesla. Before he can do anything too crazy. Yeah, I knew he was gonna do that. But we're back to our Tesla. So he can't hurt us. Okay. No, bro. I didn't know. Uh, bro, are you serious? That's so annoying. I didn't mean to do that. Okay, whatever. That was a pretty bad log, but... No. No, no, no. Okay, queen. No! Bro, I'm making so many misplays. I mean, that wasn't really a misplay, but he just got a good earthquake. Okay, wait. I need to go minor here. Minor poison. I, I actually might have lost because of that, bro. Okay, gotta kill this Tesla. Uh, really bad hog. He didn't need that at all. Okay, this is not looking good. We're down a lot of damage. But, you know, there might be a chance. That was a bad firecracker. Not really gonna get him any value. Uh, no, how is he already back to hog? I swear he just played it, bro. And he's already back. Okay. He's going to go firecracker the bridge. Okay, the, the thing about this, once you get into a good cycle, they can't really break through. So I need to cycle queen the back. That's what I need to do. Queen the back is really good in this matchup too because they can't kill it. And yeah, really good. He also just wasted his knight, so there should be some decent damage. Yeah, okay, he has to tank it. And he's playing really aggressive, but I just, I don't, I can't find a way to break through. Because, okay, that was good. That was actually really good. Um, how did that die? Okay, wait, we're actually not even down that much damage. Uh, okay, yep, delivery, perfect. Alright, I'm gonna go a little bit aggressive here, because I, I know we're not, uh, down too much elixir. And that knight is just going to be chilling on his tower, hopefully. Okay, just going to poison this just for some chip because he's been earthquaking me every time and I want to keep up. And he actually has to overcommit. And we're looking pretty good to win this game. We were in a really bad spot just a minute ago. But like I said, once you get into a good cycle against this deck, it's really easy to defend and overall just win the game. And that was a really bad hog. Hold up. He, that was actually a really bad hog. He played it into my queen, which is really stupid. You should never do that as a hog player. And that's why queen is so good on defense in this. And, okay, the yes, poison. Wait, knight, knight's on tower. Let's go. All right, really beautiful win. And I actually, like, haven't really paid attention to how many losses I've gotten. So we'll see what our win rate is. And, okay, 1792. Is it going to tell me my win rate? Okay, I'm pretty sure that's like 70%, but top 4K, not bad. That's going to be the end of the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, like and subscribe if you do, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.